Hi, welcome to another Katiwi 5 video tutorial. Today I want to do a simple rim. Let's start with a usual sketch. Maybe on that plane, hide as usual the yellow projected elements and I want to have a sketch profile something like this. Now I don't care if I snap onto something because I will delete all the constraints anyway. So it doesn't matter. Just give it all the dimensions and afterwards I will edit them with Edit Multi Constraint. So this is almost easy. Constraint, make this coincident, make this one coincident, and This one is axis, a center line. Yes. Let's take a look. What's missing? Oh, I see. There should be some sort of perpendicularity right here. Okay. Now let's go to edit multi constraint and change all the values accordingly. This should be maybe. Two four five. This one maybe two three two. Next one two two zero. Next one two three two. And two four five. This should be five twenty. 64, 20, 78, no, not 78, but this should be 20, and that one should be 78, this one should be 20, 20, last one should be 5, and this one should be 20 as well. Okay, and I don't need this circuit. Convert it to construction line in this as well. Or you could just delete them. Doesn't matter. So that's my first sketch. Maybe I should insert a geometrical set and call this sketches. And change like this. Of course I need more sketches, so let's go for another one. Again on that plane. 
hide as usual these elements and I want to reuse some elements of the other sketch. I want to get this element, that element, this one and that one. Okay, then I need a spline which should be on this point coincident. Yes. Then I want to activate the tangency in the first control point. Okay. And make this one and that one perpendicular. I will not constrain this sketch completely by intention. Okay. But this one should be on that axis coincident. Okay. Then I need another. This should go maybe like this and then I could use a spline again and it should go to this point. This point should be on this, come on, coincident. There should be a distance, maybe 130. And I want to activate again the tangency in the first control point and make this two perpendicular. Okay, and then adjust these a little bit. I need an axis for rotation. You should always define it in the sketch and leave this sketch. So I got my second sketch. So some more sketches on this plane. Hide. Then I need some construction elements. One circle, one line, diameter should be 490, and this should be coincident on both axes, and the angle should be 22.5. So I go for a spline, which could look like this. Make this coincident to the axis and activate the tangency in the first control point. I want to mirror this later so I have to make certain that this goes straight in and straight out. Now arrange these
and make it a close profile to copy this sketch because I need almost the same again paste it edit it I don't need these so we'll set them on construction and I need another spline which starts on this line and goes something like this should be standard element, yes. Activate as before the tangency, in this case the first control point, and make these two elements perpendicular because I want to mirror this one as well. Make it a close profile as before. And leave the sketch. Okay. Now I go for multi-body model, so I will need some more bodies. So insert one, two, three. Define a work object, make now a shaft with sketch 1. Make it a thick profile, so this warning is obsolete, make it thickness 5. Now I could already make some fillets here, let's say 4 millimeters, and use the user selection filter, it's much easier to do it with filtered ones let's see if yep and I could add this one edge as well Okay, now make body 3 work in object, object in work, sorry, and this should be another shaft, now with this sketch, okay, now go to body 4 and make some pads with sketch 3 and 4, made it 300, Make another one. Okay, deselect it. Mirror the whole body on that plane and make a circular pattern. Make it a complete crown. Make it eight instances and use the set axis as reference. Okay, now I want to remove body four from body three. So, remove body 4 from body 3 and OK. And it already looks nice. Maybe I change sketch 3 a little bit. Move this a little bit 
more inside. Okay. So the switch you can show on the current body. I want to make some fillets with two millimeters on this edge. That one, that one, that one, that one. One could try to model just one small part of this whole rim and then do the fillets more easily. Okay. And finally I want to add this body to that body. Always don't forget to deselect the user selection filter. So now let's add body 3 to body 2 and OK. And I need some holes. So the holes. Set this body as object in work. Then I select this edge, select the hole, then the face, which means my Positioning sketch is already constrained. Make it up to last and make the diameter, let's say, 70. Okay, and then I need some more holes. So I go for hole on that face. This is a warning because it always goes to the middle and so there is no material in the middle. But just remove it from the middle and diameter should be let's say 20 or let's say 15 yes and go to the positioning sketch and set it on one axis coincident and give it a distance Eighty is too much, so maybe forty-five, fifty, or fifty, forty, seven point five. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay, and I need a pattern with that hole and I need only five but I need a complete crown reference element is the set axis and I don't want the current solid but the hole keeps specifications and okay so you could add some more fillets if you want or you just could leave it like this So hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit, it's a little bit lengthy. Uh, see you next one. Next one, Katia will be a more advanced rim.